Hey everyone, it's Eurosoul, and I'm continuing my deep dives here into the Jeffrey Epstein epic web of likely criminal activity amongst so many different people, and I'm going to be putting together a pretty substantial release on that in the next few days, once it's done. just wanted to comment on this story that surfaced regarding Bill Gates, the founder of Microsoft and one of the world's richest men, financially anyway. Because he actually appears on the flight logs of Jeffrey Epstein 2 in 2013, which obviously is not even that long ago. And as the Daily Mail has commented here, Bill Gates flew with Jeffrey Epstein on the Lolita Express in 2013 with the man whose charity aims to empower young girls joining the serial paedophile four years after he left prison. So there's lots of controversy over Bill Gates's various quote-unquote philanthropic activities regarding vaccinating the world and so on um not going to dive into the vaccine side of things is a massive subject but i am going to show you some stories that most people probably have never seen from a few years ago that are very much related to this issue so let's just scan through this article quickly though first bill gates flew from teterboro airport in new jersey to palm beach on march 1st 2013 with jeffrey epstein epstein had told people in the past he was a financial advisor to gates a rep for Gates's humanitarian foundation denied that Epstein ever worked for the billionaire founder of Microsoft, but would not comment on the 2013 flight. And then Gates and his wife have championed the education and empowerment of young women around the world through the charitable work. Epstein had just been released from prison four years prior after pleading guilty to two counts of soliciting a minor under the age of 18 for sex. Bill Gates hitched a ride on the Jeffrey Epstein's plane four years after he served time behind bars. The pair had spent some time together previously, most notably at the annual Edge Dinner, which each year welcomes billionaires from around the world to come together and discuss advancements they are working on in the world of math, science and technology. In fact, the 2013 dinner took place just two nights before they flew to Florida, though neither of the men are pictured attending that year's event. Epstein did claim he worked as a financial advisor to Gates for some time, but that claim was shot down by the Microsoft founder's representative. The two men do, however, both own property in South Florida, where Epstein had two homes, including a $12 million Palm Beach mansion, and Gates owns a five-property compound in Wellington that he purchased for a total of $40 million. So here we have the flight log picture of Bill Gates. In a biography that was published on the website for Edge, but later deleted, it is noted that Epstein founded the Jeffrey Epstein Six Foundation, or VI, in 2000 to fund and support cutting-edge science around the world. He's also said to be one of the largest supporters of individual scientists, including theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking. In an alarming addition, the biography then states that Epstein has taken an active role in supporting education across the United States as well as philanthropy in the US Virgin Islands, where the foundation is based. So there's nothing really new in any of that, except for the fact that, that he was connected to Bill Gates. Um, so what I'm going to show you here is this story which I've known about since it happened man arrested at Bill Gates' estate for reportedly trading child porn 2014 Rick Allen Jones reportedly employed as an engineer at the Gates' home is also accused of trading pornography images via Gmail 51 year old has been collecting child porn for a decade according to King County prosecutors in 2013 investigators started looking at Jones they, they were able to track him down in March after he shared a suspicious image through Gmail. After failing to find Jones at his Ballard apartment, police later found him at the estate. None of his alleged crimes actually happened at the Gates' mansion. While Jones was talking to the detectives at the Gates' estate, three more detectives had a search warrant for Jones' Ballard apartment. There they found more than 6,000 images of graphic child porn and rape, 133 of which were children identified by police. OK, and then we've got this other piece here on the same... Uh, subject a Seattle man employed as an engineer and, re and residing at Bill and Melinda Gates' estate in Medina, Washington has confessed to amassing 6,000 image child pornography collection so this guy basically was G Bill Gates apparently, I mean obviously I've never been there I don't know that all of this is true but the stories were that, that this guy was Bill Gates' quote unquote personal engineer so he was living at Bill Gates' house and it was obviously working very closely with Bill Gates. Bill Gates is an engineer, so to have a personal engineer would be quite a personal thing, wouldn't it? I mean, you know, it's like if you're a, a chef and you had your own private chef, obviously you would want that chef to be, first of all, very close to you because you're interested in the same subjects, 
And secondly, um, you would be probably, you would know them very well, right? So I haven't seen any comment at all on how this person was related to Bill Gates beyond what these stories have put out. Detectives have since re reviewed electronic seeds from Jones's apartment. They claim to have uncovered 6,495 images known to law enforcement to be child pornography, including 133 in which the children abused on camera have been identified by police. Among the images were photos showing the anal rape of an 8 to 10-year-old boy and the rape of an 8 to 10-year-old girl. Jones was charged with possession. Da -da 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 -da. That's the same thing. So I've never seen a follow-up to this. I don't know how he was prosecuted. But my point is, you know, the average person that I've ever met doesn't really have any involvement with child pornography, doesn't come into contact with anybody who gets prosecuted for child pro uh, pornography. There are many, as it turns out, uh, accusations of child pornography and that kind of thing la labelled against people in the public eye to discredit them that aren't real. So that's obviously something to bear in mind. And I would definitely consider that, you know, with Bill Gates and with anybody, it's entirely possible that these things are designed to discredit the people and they never, you know, they're not even real. but I do think it's relevant, and I do think this deserves to be added to the archives of potential evidence in this situation. Uh, you know, leave no stone unturned would be a good motto, and definitely that's my aim here. So, yeah, if you happen to know anything more about this case, what happened to the guy that was in, uh, arrested, any other evidence on Bill Gates with regarding this kind of thing, um, definitely let me know in the comments uh, or, or PM me. And ultimately, you know, if you look around the world at the, the many cases of charities that have been involved in serious crimes against children, even whilst claiming to be solely set up to protect children, we definitely, definitely, definitely need to be paying attention to any charity anywhere that claims to be working for the best interests of children. And that's exactly what Bill Gates' charity is doing. So I'm confident that we're all going to get to the bottom of this or the end of this at some point in my lifetime, but it's not going to be quick. So uh, the more people that get involved, the more hard work people put in, the, the better. So definitely do share, like, subscribe, reblog, re-steam this post, and let's get more and more people interested in this and uh, shed more light into all of these topics. Thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, peace.